Hey, what's going on everyone? This is I Reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 18.4. As you probably know by now, iOS 18.4 is currently on beta. We're now on the third beta of iOS 18.4 and it's an amazing update. It has a ton of features and changes, over 50 new features and changes that Apple has added to iOS 18 with 18.4 even though the big features to Siri didn't come and it looks like they will be pushed for iOS 19. It's still a great update and we're going to talk more about this update, the release day and everything you need to know just after we talk about the latest new features that Apple has added to this update. Now first of all as you know the third beta is the last one that Apple has released for iOS 18.4. Now this will come with a build number of 22 e 522 f Now, taking a look at this build number, there will be probably another couple of betas before we move to the RC version, but we're going to talk in a minute about the exact dates and the size here on the iPhone 15 Pro Max moving from the second beta to the third. As you can see here, is under 1 gig, so of course, it doesn't have that many changes as the first couple of betas. Now, first of all, let's go ahead and talk about some of the changes that we have discovered on the latest beta. Now with the first beta, Apple has added a feature where you will get a banner right there on the top of your screen when you back tap your iPhone, of course using one of the double tap or triple tap features that the iPhone has. And now Apple has actually added a button which allows to disable that feature if you don't want to. So when you go here to touch and then you go to back tap, you will have the switch where you can enable or disable that banner. Basically all it does, it shows you that it has detected the back tap and it will actually display the banner right there at the top. If you don't like it, if it's annoying for you, you can now go ahead and just turn it off. As you probably know, with iOS 18.4, Apple has added new emojis. Now, previously, those emojis, even though they had been added to iOS on the keyboard, you wouldn't be able to see them on the list here. As you can see, one, the fingerprint right there, but you could search them and actually use them, but they wouldn't show on the list of emojis. And now they are here. All the new emojis can now be found on the keyboard of your emojis. On the wallet app, we also have a change. So if you tap on the three dots right there, you can see that now we have pre-authorized payments. It used to be like payments and, and subscriptions. This was also added new on iOS 18.4 beta 2, but now it has changed to pre-authorized payments, which is basically different from the last beta. And this is a new splash screen once you open the podcast app for the first time on iOS 18.4 beta 3. Basically talking about the library widget and a followed shows widget. So basically we have two new widgets that actually have been added with the first beta. Now you will just see the splash screen basically letting you know that these widgets have been added. And if you're using WhatsApp, now you can actually use Genmoji within WhatsApp. So you can tap here and you can go ahead and create your own Genmoji right here and share it on WhatsApp with your contacts. Here's something I really like with the first beta. The animation here is really, really smooth on the control center. Just notice this when you go to actually clear your notifications is actually really awesome. It has that really nice smooth animation. And the type to Siri interface has been actually fixed. That was a problem for a lot of users with the second beta. It's now fixed and it should work properly for every user on iOS 18.4 beta 3. And also an annoying like bug here on and also an annoying bug here on the control center, which basically wouldn't allow you to tap right here at the top to dismiss the control center has been fixed as well. I had this problem on my device on beta 2 and I've seen a lot of other people reporting this problem. Now it has been fixed. And now let's move on and talk about performance on iOS 18.4 beta 3. This is the score that I got with Geekbench 6 just today. This is the iPhone 15 Pro Max here and the score is quite solid. Not the best that I've gotten on iOS 18, but it's quite good. So the single core score is a 2,923, which is okay. And the multi-core score is a bit lower than iOS 18.3. It used to be somewhere around 7,500. Now it's at 7,313, which is quite a bit lower, but 
overall it actually performs really really well and i didn't actually have any like major problems with ios 18.4 since its release on the first beta of course despite some of the small bugs and glitches here and there now of course one of the most important things when it comes to new updates is the battery life well let's go ahead and take a look here and how battery life is on this latest beta so right here we're on, on the iphone 15 pro max maximum capacity at 91 percent even though it has been stuck there for like the past three months it's probably more somewhere around 87 or maybe even 86 and here we have the battery life so right here 100 battery eight hours 37 minutes on screen right here about 110 15 percent battery 10 hours 36 minutes and then again here exactly 100 percent battery 8 hours 15 minutes it's not the best ever but it's actually quite good of course we're still on beta and with these updates being installed every week the iphone won't actually have a lot of time to actually settle in with this update and give you the best battery life it should of course be better within the next few days but it's actually not the not that bad at all keeping in mind that we're still on beta and we have a few more betas to go now when talking about new releases let's go ahead and take a look at the calendar here and see what to expect next from ios 18.4 well taking a look at this update the latter the latest one where we just have a few minor changes and a few minor updates to the new features i think that apple is basically done with ios 18.4 i don't expect many new features to be added in the next betas for ios 18.4 at all probably just some like minor like fixes and improvements here and there polish it a bit and it should be ready to be released to the public in my opinion we will have the next beta right here of course next week it will be either the 17th or 18th of march and then right here we should have the fifth beta of ios 18.4 i would expect apple to also release the rc version of ios 18.4 on the 31st or maybe even the 1st of april right there and expecting the public release of ios 18.4 on april the 7th i thought that apple will actually go another week after the 7th right here on the 14th but taking a look at this latest update i think that they are basically done here with ios 18.4 and this is it this is what we will get with this update there won't be any other new features added to ios 18.4 of course some minor changes and improvements will happen in the next couple of betas but don't expect anything big with these releases for ios 18.4 so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful if you did make sure to smash that like button and of course subscribe for more videos and i will see you on the next one